you guys. Okay, so I'm not even sure. Day 17. Um, so, oh, today I have a guest. Jersey. Jersey. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> um, yeah, so still at 188 this morning. And um, the keto stick's still looking like crap. It's fine. Um, I know better. I'm super carb sensitive. And that's what potato did me in. But again, I don't stress about that stuff. There's still color on the stick. So um, I'm going to look at the positive. At least I'm not totally out of ketosis. Um, so there's still color on the stick. And I think moving forward, I'm going to do everything in my power to refeed no carb. Um, just try to stick to no carb refeeds and see. Because I am so sensitive to carbs, it's ridiculous. Yeah, so... That's my game plan moving forward. And I was also thinking, you know, like when I stood on the scale this morning, I'm like, ugh, I'm still at 188. And I get it. It can be annoying and aggravating um, if you're doing all the right things and you're exercising. I'm out there walking five miles, you know in the mornings and and when you're doing all the right things and then you step on the scale and you you know you don't see a change or whatever I get it it can be annoying it can be upsetting um, disappointing all that stuff I get it um, and honestly I'm, I'm not you know I'm not an alien like I feel a certain way about it, you know, when I first stand on the scale, if it doesn't say what I think it should say, I'm like, oh, I've been really good, I've been walking, I've been fasting, you know, so if, of course, I step on the scale in the morning thinking I'm going to see a loss, so if I don't see a loss, immediately my, I do have a feeling of, you know, oh man, what, really? <laughs> you know, uh, I think that's just natural, you know, human nature or whatever. But then immediately, you know, I'm just like, no, nope, no, nope. because that's like the old way of thinking. I've been through this long enough that I know that I just have to be patient and keep doing what I'm doing and and it's and it will all get going again I mean I don't know why I hold water or, I mean it's not like I'm the only one that holds water but that's usually what it is I mean let's face it if you're fasting you're not gaining weight <laughs> you're not gaining fat you know you're holding water. So I just have to, you know, once I feel that initial emotion when I step on the scale, then I just have to be like, I'm fasting. I know I'm not gaining weight. Um, it's just water. I'm holding water. I just have to be patient, make sure I get, keep, you know, drinking my water and get my water in and, you know, my snake juice and what have you and it will eventually drop so it's all about patience and determination um and that's why I don't let it bother me you know I I feel what I feel when that number first pops up and then I move on and tell myself just keep pushing and we also have to remember don't base your whole journey on a number on a scale like even though you're holding water, 
if you're in ketosis, you're still burning fat. So, you know, yeah, scale will give you a number, but you also have to go by how do you look? You know, don't be scared to look at yourself in the mirror. How do you look? How are your clothes fitting? Um, how do you feel? You know, there's many things you go by, not just that number on the scale. Like, even though the scale might not move, you know, and I get stuck or whatever, if my clothes are fitting better, then something's happening. Something's right. So, again, don't don't let that number on the scale be the end all, you know, uh, and run your emotions and, you know, you weigh yourself in the morning and it doesn't say what you think it should say and then you have a shitty day. No, don't do that because it's not all about that number on the scale. And I, you know, then I pet my... T pep talk myself all the time like that, you know, pretty much what I'm saying here, like, no, it's not all about that, and, and, and like I say, as long as you are doing what you should be doing, things are happening, okay, don't, don't put too much into that number on the scale, um, what else, oh, I know I told you all the story about the girl at the gym, the personal trainer, and I said, let's see if I go to the gym, which that would have been yesterday. And I didn't go to the gym, but not because of that. Um, yeah, I forgot I had to. I promised to help a neighbor get to the doctor. So um, I took him to the doctor and came back home. It was a cold, rainy day yesterday. And um, so after I got him back home from his doctor's appointment, I came home hopped in a hot shower and got in my recliner and watched some movies um so but we'll see moving forward I'm, when it comes to going to the gym like I'll go out there every morning and walk the five miles because all I gotta do is put on my workout clothes and open the door and go outside and get the walk done but I will admit, if it's something that I have to get in my car and go somewhere to get it done, to walk, to work out, to go to a pool, or if I got to get in my car, it's really hard for me to stick with it. But I'm not saying I'm not gonna. <laughs> um, but game plan is probably... probably going to try to stick with it starting Monday um, getting in the gym because I do want to strengthen up a little bit um, so today I am getting ready to get my recliner <laughs> but instead of watching movies I'm going to um, binge watch a few of Cole's videos because um, I like to you know even though I've seen pretty much all of them. I like to go back sometimes and just rewatch them and let some of that information that I might have forgotten or what have you and let it sink in. And then on top of that, he's super motivating, <laughs> don't y'all think? Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm getting ready to do is sit down and listen to Cole for a couple hours. All right, but I really didn't have much else. I just wanted to talk about that whole scale thing because we put too much, too much into that. Right, Jersey? We don't want to put too much into that number, do we? <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, I guess I will see you tomorrow. I hope you guys are fasting and feeling good I feel good I mean I do I feel good I feel strong um, you know and I also try to look at the big picture like I instead of just looking at oh I didn't lose weight you know I'm still at 188 
um, I try to look at the big picture like I did really good my first week what was it 12 pounds I lost or whatever um, it would be unrealistic for me to think I could lose 12 pounds every single week um, but I lost it the first week now things are evening out a little bit um, and that's fine you know But the big picture for me is, of course, I'm on this February fasting. You know, I wanted to fast as hard as I could for the um, month of February with only refeeding on Sundays. Um, and that was a goal plan. And hopefully to lose a pound a day. Now, there may be days I don't lose weight, but there may be weeks that instead of losing seven pounds for the week, I've lost 12. So, as long as it evens out to a pound a day, of course, that's all I care about. I'm hoping that, you know, by February 28th, I will have lost at least 28 pounds. So, that's the big picture. So, um, that's another thing I do is trying to, you know, I try to tell myself, just stay focused, you know, and look at the big picture, um, which for me is this month, you know, fasting like I am for the full month. So we'll see what happens. Um, and at the end of the day, I mean, this, it, it can be stressful, especially if you're doing all the right things and then you step on the scale and it's not moving and, you know, it is stressful. Um, if I'm just fasting, just plan out, I'm fasting, you know, there's no challenge I'm doing or I'm just fasting. It can be tough, but it's a much, it's much easier than saying, Okay, I'm challenging myself for the month of February to do X, Y, Z. And because then there's a there's a time limit, you know what I'm saying? There's giving myself the month of February to lose X amount. So you got that time frame, which puts a little added stress. And then because I'm an idiot, I add even more stress to the situation by saying now I'm going to for the month of February, I'm going to video every day of my journey for February and throw it up on YouTube for everybody to see. So that's more stress, but my objective was accountability. So, um, account, I, ha I have to be accountable to myself. And then of course, if I'm putting these on YouTube and, you know, I don't have hundreds of followers, but for those that are watching it, um, I have to be accountable to you guys as well. So it's, it's added accountability and motivation. Um, but it's added stress too. But, um, at the end of the day, you just, you can't get to, if I get to the end of February and I've only lost, let's say 20 pounds for the month of February, <laughs> it's not the end of the world. I'm not going to freak out. It is what it is, and it's 20 pounds. It's 20 pounds. And I'll be 20 pounds lighter than I was when I started February 1st. So, you can't get it in your head, you know. Anyways, I'm done with the preaching. I'm going to go binge on Cole for a little bit. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.